Well, it's, it's honestly a great opportunity for us as a team uh, going in against a team like that that's, you know, had a, a good pass against us since I've been here. Uh, I feel like it's, you know, motivating for me as an individual and also, you know, the rest of the team. A lot of us have been, you know, playing them the last couple of years and we haven't come out on top. So we're going up there, you know, hungry and, and looking for a good weekend series. Awesome. Next up, we're going to go to Christopher Stock of Inside the U. Stock, go ahead. Hey, Alex. Uh, they're, they're starting pitching. You've obviously seen them with Mace and Leftwich and I assume Barco. But just if you could kind of just talk about maybe the challenges of facing each one of those guys uh, as you've seen them before. Uh, they're all great competitors. I mean, they, they bring high-level stuff to the table. They all have you know, high velocity fastballs and mix in good off speed pitches. So it's going to be a great battle, you know, between them and our lineup. But at the end of the day, I mean, no matter who you face, you still got to, you know, have the same approach. It's It's been the same game we've been playing our whole lives, for most of us at least. And the ball still got to cross the center of the plate and we still got to swing it. So it's going to be a, a fun weekend, like I said. Awesome. Let's go to David Wilson of the Miami Herald. David, go ahead. Hey, Alex, uh, I know Florida would be big in, in any situation, but especially given last year where you guys lose a couple of close games to them and then obviously the season ends not much longer after that, just how exciting is it to kind of go back up there and uh, maybe try to get get some get a little bit of revenge or, or something off of uh, last season? Uh, it's going to be exciting no matter how the outcomes have been in the past. I mean, you know, playing against a rival school, you know, Miami versus Gainesville, it's going to be a huge – uh, rivalry weekend, even though there's not going to be, you know, a packed house, but it's still 2,000 people. I think it's it's going to be a lot of people for a COVID year. Um, it should be exciting. It starts our first game of the season. You know, everybody's always got that that jitter, that you know, like excitement to get back out there once you see the lights turn on. Even though we're playing during the day, but you know, it's just that excitement of getting out there. You get to see the other team. You're finally going against, you know, a different type of competition, not just your, you know, inner squads or whatever we've been playing. It's going to be fun. The juices are going to be flowing, and, and I'm excited to get out there and see how we compete against, you know, one of the best teams in the country. All right, Terrell, we have time for a few more. We're going to go to Isabella Didio of the Miami Hurricane. Isabella, go ahead. Hi. So as as a team captain and as one of the older guys, I was wondering if you and the other captains are, like, doing anything to make sure that outside of the practice, outside of, like, the baseball facilities, you guys are staying safe from COVID, um, especially in the week leading up to a series? Um, I, I mean, it's an honor to be team captain of this team, but it feels like most of the guys are pretty disciplined. They know what's at stake here. They know that now is our time. It's, you know, time to just be focused on one thing and one thing only, and that's being able to go out there and play every weekend as a healthy roster. And the more guys we have available, uh, the better we're going to be able to go, you know, into depths of our, our bench and, and our pitching staff. and. Honestly, I think guys kind of know what they need to do in order to stay safe, and everybody seems to be following protocol, and, and we've been lucky uh, with this whole COVID thing. We haven't really gotten hit too hard, and hopefully it stays that way throughout the whole season. Awesome. All right, Terrell, our last question for you comes from Josh White of WVUM. Josh, go ahead. Hey, Terrell, how are you? Uh, first hey, off, does Daniel Fetterman name the Friday night starter? Obviously, you've been with Fed for a very long time. Uh, have you seen him kind of develop? Over the last few years, I know he's worked primarily out of the bullpen, but now in the rotation. And then for you, uh, what improvements have you made to your game coming into your fourth year? Well, Fetterman's always been a bulldog on the mound. I mean, I've, I've played with him for as long as I've been playing baseball my whole life, pretty much. And that guy goes out there, he competes no matter, you know, if he's got his stuff that day or if he doesn't, he's going to make you believe that, that he's got all four of his pitches and everything's working for him, even though, you know, he might have felt a little bit off on one of his pitches in the bullpen. That's kind of the mentality that you want to have as a Friday night guy and as a guy that you want, you know, going out there and leading your pitching staff. Um, he's definitely progressed in, in his off-speed pitches. He's always had a good location with his fastball, but I feel like now he's starting to get that, you know, better location of all his off-speed pitches. He's mixing in his cutter and change up real well. Um, and his curveball has really come a long way since he started throwing it last summer in Chatham. So, um, and then just personally myself, I feel like, it's been the same thing since, since you know, my sophomore year. I'm just trying to work on letting the ball travel, hitting it the other way, using the whole field, kind of letting my power play for itself, not swinging too hard. And on the defensive end, just being there, you know, doing what I can. If the ball's hit to me, make the routine play. And then obviously the spectacular plays are going to come. But just making the routine play seems to be a huge thing. And it, you know, kind of keeps our pitchers' momentum going. 